So another unique feature of the, uh, this building, there's four units on the second level, four units on the lower level. Uh, one of the things we were able to do for the lower units was to give each one of them um, their own private basement area. So people can do whatever they want downstairs, but we are gonna finish them out. So we did actually engineer in these accesses down into the basement area. Okay, so here we are in the basement area of the one bedroom unit that we were just in. As you can see, we're actually framing everything out so that, and we'll have sheet rock up. So this will be a finished basement area. Can lights up in the ceilings in order to bring light down in here. Uh, large egress windows, so uh, for fire safety and whatnot. Uh, downstairs right here, we're gonna have a full-size laundry as well as this being the mechanical room. But again, I think for, you know, what we were really trying to do was push as much value into these units as we could. So again, for a typical one bedroom unit, uh, to have full size laundry is kind of a unique feature. Uh, to have this secondary basement area that you could really finish out into uh, just an area for media or whatnot. As you can see, we've even set it up so that we can have uh, a TV mounted right here. Um, it's already got, it's already set up for a TV mount and that type of thing. And this is a good sized room. So each of the four downstairs units will have their own basement space, which is extra, which is extra living space that can be used and just gives extra value to each buyer. And then the upstairs floors, um, while they don't have, enjoy the basement space, they do have uh, the benefit of being upstairs ceilings are a little bit higher and of course the the views out the windows are a little bit more expansive so just what this thing that we did instead of making all eight units exactly the same even though the floor plans are very similar we really did customize how we wanted to do things for each unit to kind of maximize the value given that we're still working with a building that's 110 years old